Hi guys, on this rainy Friday today I wanted to um, read you a book, it's called If You Find a Rock, and I'll flip the camera down here in just a second so that you can see it, but it is um, by Peggy Christian, and it was, and the photographs in this book are by Barbara Hirsch Lember, okay, and the, well before I tell you that I'm going to Flip this down, flip that around. This is if you find a rock. I'll zoom that out just a little bit. And um oh fooey. There we go. All right. Um, this book is a 3.8 um, AR level. Its quiz number is 39873. Um, if you want to take a quiz on it when we get done reading it, and you can always listen again if you need to do that. So this is If You Find a Rock. If you find a rock, a nice, flat, rounded rock that sits just right in the crook of your finger, then you have a skipping rock. You toss it out in the water just so and see it trip across the surface, making a chain of spreading rings. Maybe you find a soft white rock, a rock that feels dusty in your fingers. Then you have a chalk rock, and you use it to make pictures on the pavement. Or you might find a big mossy rock by the side of a long, steep trail. Then you have a resting rock, and as you sit down, you feel the cool moss smush, squish beneath you. I like that they use actual pictures in this book. Then again, you might find a rock with a stripe running all the way around it. Trace the line with your finger. It must circle all the way. You have a wishing rock, and you whisper what you want before you throw it. If you find a rock, a big rock by the edge of the water, then you have found a splashing rock. When it hits the surface, the water jumps out of the way, raining back down on your outstretched hands. The bigger the rock, the wetter you get. Maybe you find a pile of small rounded pebbles. Then you have found sifting rocks, and you can scoop up a handful and let them slide slowly through your fingers. I remember doing that when I was little, and I went and would visit my grandma's um, farm. She had little teeny tiny pebbles in her driveway, and I used to scoop them up and let them slide through my fingers. Or you might find a rock whose water smooth surface catches your eye. If it feels easy in your hand when you rub it, then you have found a worry rock. You rub it between your fingers and your troubles are smoothed away. I have one. Then again, you might find a rock sitting in a grassy field. Push it over. You have found a hiding rock, and in the cool, dark underside live all kinds of things that creep and crawl and hide out of sight. If you find a rock, a great rock, that towers over you, then you have found a climbing rock. Hold on with your toes and fingers. Grip hard as you stretch up and pull until you reach the top where you feel much grander than you did on the ground. Maybe you will find a twisting line of rocks sticking up out of a creek. 
Then you have found crossing rocks, which wait to meet your feet as you pass over the water rushing all around you. Or you might find a rock with a print of something else, a leaf or a shell. Then you have found a fossil rock, and you feel the shape of something that lived long, long ago when the rock was young. Then again, you could find a small rounded rock right in front of your toe as you go down the sidewalk. You have found a walking rock and you kick it ahead of you and let it lead you home. If you find a rock, a rock that's not a skipping rock or a chalk rock or a resting rock or a wishing rock, that's not a splashing rock or a sifting rock or a worry rock or a hiding rock, that's not even a climbing rock or a crossing rock or a fossil rock or a walking rock, but you like it anyway because it reminds you of a place or a feeling or someone important, then you have found a memory rock and sometimes those are the best rocks of all. The end. I wanted to read this book today. Um, I think it's cool, but I also think that if you get to go outside, then you can have the opportunity to try to find some of those different rocks, either around your backyard or if you end up going to the park for a walk or something like that. And I know that I have some rock collectors in my, in my class, so um, this book made me think of you guys. And I will talk to you all later.